Hey all you witches and wizards, Mr. Muggle Teacher here, back with another video. Today we are going to be reviewing the 20th anniversary Hogwarts House Editions for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets from Bloomsbury Publishing. Make sure that you're not late, because class starts right now! Thanks so much for joining me for today's review video. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Room of Requirement Apparel, who happened to produce the shirt that I'm wearing today. This is the Slug Club t-shirt exclusive to Room of Requirement Apparel, so be sure to check them out on Instagram, and I'll link their website down below. To go along with my Slug Club t-shirt today, I'm using my Horace Slughorn wand, which happens to be one of my favorite wands from the Noble Collection. So, without further ado, let's jump into the review. So as I had mentioned, we are going to be doing an in-depth review of the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Hogwarts House Editions from Bloomsbury Publishing. I do have copies of both the hardcover and paperback versions of this, so I'll be talking about the similarities and differences as we go through the review. If you didn't get a chance to check out my previous review of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone from this same edition series of books, be sure to check that out. I'll link that in the description below. In the previous review, I started off with the hardcover, so I think it's only appropriate that we start off with the paperback today, just to kind of give them an equal chance as well. So here we go. Accio paperback. You, you didn't see my hand, right? I, I just, I mean, I just happened to put my hand underneath the books to catch them to make sure that they didn't go all over the room. Anyway, we're gonna be starting off with the Hogwarts House Editions paperback copies of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets from Bloomsbury Publishing. As you can see, these books are black. They are black all around the book, except for the beautiful, vibrant text block that we have on all three sides, and then of course our black spine to the book. So this, as you could probably guess, is the Hufflepuff edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the 20th anniversary Bloomsbury edition. Now, one thing that I had mentioned in the previous video when I talked about the Philosopher's Stone, as we have the black paperback, we're going to have the opposite in the hardcover. So this is the hardcover of the same exact book, and we have the paperback over here, hardcover. So that's one really cool thing that Bloomsbury did when they were going back and forth between the paperback and the hardcover editions. Now, if you happen to purchase all of the books as we go through the series, books one to seven, the first book is going to be either the house color or black, depending on if you purchase paperback or hardcover. And then each alternating book, we are going to have the opposite color. So for example, the Chamber of Secrets, paperback is black, that means that the Philosopher's Stone was the bright, vibrant yellow in paperback, and then the Prisoner of Azkaban is also going to be that vibrant yellow paperback. So when you display them on your shelves, you have kind of that alternating pattern, uh, which is a really, really cool effect, unlike anything that I've seen in any other editions of the Harry Potter books. A couple of things that are really unique to this specific series for each of the Hogwarts House editions, in the beginning of each book, there is a portrait of the founder of each house. So for example, in the Hufflepuff editions, we have a beautifully drawn portrait of Helga Hufflepuff in the beginning of that. And as I mentioned, for each house edition, um, it has the respective founder of each of those Hogwarts houses as well. Also, in the back of the book, we have a picture, and I'm just using the Hufflepuff version because, as most of you know, I am a Hufflepuff. In the back of the book, 
we have this beautifully drawn portrait and scene of the Hufflepuff common room, as well as a featured character for each of the books. This specific featured character in the back of the Hufflepuff edition happens to be Hokey. If you guys don't know who Hokey is, I highly, highly suggest reading this series a little bit more in depth. But also in the very front of the book, we have a little feature of Hokey right here. Now, one thing that's really cool about the covers of these books is whereas they may look very similar from house to house, they're actually very, very unique and they have kind of hidden Easter eggs in the cover that happen to highlight some of the things from that house from that specific year's book. For example, this is the Slytherin edition and the Hufflepuff edition. We have the Serpent's in the middle of both books, which in this case we know is the Basilisk for Chamber of Secrets. But then as we look around the covers of the book, there's some additional features that are specific to each house. I'm not going to go super in depth with that. If you want to see some more detailed pictures of these books, be sure to check those out over on my Instagram page at Mr. Muggle Teacher because I will be posting more in-depth photos of these books over there that you can check out. Now moving right along, so we got a lot of information for the Hufflepuff books so far. Let's jump into the Slytherin since that's the next one that I had up here. As I mentioned in the beginning of the book, we do have those portraits of the founders. This one obviously is going to be Salazar Slytherin. And then in the back of the book, just like the Hufflepuff version, we have a beautiful picture of the Slytherin common room. And then for this specific book, our featured character is Dobby. Now, some of you may be thinking, why is Dobby the featured character for the Slytherin book? Remember, he was the house elf of the Malfoy family, which has a long lineage in the Slytherin house. So that's why we have a little bit of featured information for Dobby for the Slytherin book. We do have the same exact information in the hardcover version of this. It's just the paperback was in black and the hardcover is going to be in this beautiful green. Now one thing that I did mention in the Philosopher's Stone book review, the colored editions have a little bit more like a velvety texture to the cover of the book, whether it's the dust jacket or whether it was the colored versions of the paperback books for the Philosopher's Stone. I'm not really sure why that is, but if you're someone that is interested in just like the feel of the book, definitely check out the colored editions, um, or in my case, just buy both editions because they're beautiful, beautiful books to be able to display on your shelf and flip through all of that additional really cool information. We're gonna move right along to the Ravenclaw editions. Now, the Ravenclaw editions, again, in the beginning of the book, will have that beautiful portrait of Rowena Ravenclaw. And then in the back of the book, we will have, let me find it here. So we have the Ravenclaw common room as we had in the previous Hogwarts house editions. And then our featured character for Ravenclaw house, we actually have, it's the kitchen elves so the house elves that would then work in the kitchens at Hogwarts. It's really kind of cool that up to this point, and I didn't check the Gryffindor one yet, but my guess would be that there's probably going to be a featured house elf or house elves in that book as well, but we'll see that in just a minute. Yet again, the hardcover version is going to be in that beautiful deep blue for Ravenclaw, and then the Hard, or sorry, the paperback version is going to be that nice black. And then we can jump into the Gryffindor editions. So in the Gryffindor edition, yet again, that beautiful portrait of Godric Gryffindor. 
And then in the back, we have the Gryffindor common room. And for our featured character, we, okay, here we go. We have Creature. So this is one thing that I actually find relatively interesting, that they chose to feature Creature as the featured character in the Gryffindor edition for this. As we know, Creature was the house elf of the Black family, which actually had a long lineage in Slytherin House, I guess that's kind of why they decided to include Creature as the featured character for the Gryffindor House Editions of Chamber of Secrets. Now, in addition to all of that extra information at the beginning of the book and the back of the book, these in general, they're just beautiful, beautiful books that I love to feature on my shelves. This is something that as soon as I had seen these editions come out, I definitely knew that it was something that I wanted to add to my collection. I'm very much looking forward to getting to know these books a little bit more and just flipping through and reading more of that additional information as the books come out. I will be doing a full in-depth review of the remaining books as they continue to come out, so be sure to stay up to date with my videos as I will be releasing a Prisoner of Azkaban review, a Goblet of Fire review, and very soon the Order of the Phoenix is going to be coming out. I'm super, super excited. If you didn't get a chance to check out the preview of the covers for those books, yet again, we're sticking with the same theme, but I'll insert a photo of that up here so you can check that out. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to make sure that you get updates whenever I upload a new video. Also, go over and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Mr. Muggle Teacher. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in next class.